Arc is a Chrome-based browser and people are saying it's like Chrome, but better. And I agree. There is a feature within Arc that is really underrated or just not discovered by many people yet. The feature is called Easel and it's kind of like a digital scrapbook, but really cool in a modern way. Hi, I'm Yuka and I make videos for the everyday creators. Let's talk about this feature called Easel. Easel is a unique feature within Arc and you can access it by swiping over. And if you're not here at easels and notes, you can just kind of navigate to this tab here and you can create a new one or look at whatever you have already. Let's just see this one that I made. So I just made this scrapbook thing about what's on my side table. And I just took this photo, airdropped it here and I tagged it with a bunch of products. And this is just a way to scrapbook or create like a little web page. And the cool thing about it is that everything here is actually linked. So if I click on this, I can actually go to this page. Same with this Amazon page. It's like scrapbooking, but everything is linked. So it's kind of like Pinterest, but everything is so free form and you can move things around really freely. You can even write with a pen, um, you can type. And it's just like such a unique, cool experience. In order to make this, you can capture it from different websites. So let's say I want to tag like this AirPods, AirPods Max. Okay, so let's tag it from the Apple website. So if I go here, I can bring out the capture feature here. So you can capture a portion of this page by clicking this button or shift command two. And it will bring up this like selection thing, which is really cool. But you can also just kind of drag to select whatever area you want as well. I want to actually use this to clip this part and I want to add it to my what's on my side table easel. So by doing that, I just created this little snippet here. So let's bring this up here and add this little, okay. Let's add it like that. And what I did is select this to change the color like so. So this digital scrapbooking is really cool, but there are a ton of different websites that kind of does something similar. What's special about Easel is that you can make live dashboards. So I also made this other one. This is really cool. If you don't know, I am the biggest BTS fan. If you watch my videos, I think I will be sprinkling in some BTS content here and there, but this is like a little page that I made for one of the members that are coming back with a new album soon. Um, you can see that this video is playing. It's actually linked from Twitter, not X. And all of these are linked to websites. These are actually like PNGs. And this one is actually a snippet from Spotify. And you can see that it's actually moving. So the countdown is moving right now, as you can see. And so this is kind of like a live page almost, and it's updating in real time. It's very similar to like Notion widgets, but it's really cool because you can move it over things, you can move it around anywhere, unlike Notion has some limitations on how you can move blocks. So it's, there's so much flexibility. It almost reminds me of MySpace. And another thing that is very cool is that you can even share this easel. So you can share it as um, like anyone can view or anyone can edit. If you say anyone can view and share this link, anyone can view this page as a website. If you share it as anyone can edit, anyone can see it, although it can only be edited within Arc. And I have been using Arc for many months at this point, but just kind of ignored this feature because I thought it was like, like just a fun feature that's there and no one really uses it. 
but I just discovered how powerful it is like very recently. The reason why I realized this is because ARC actually uses easels to share their release notes. With every update, they have this release note, but they actually create this page with easel. So all of this is actually created within easel and it's just shared by the share function, which is really cool because this looks like a legit, really nice web page, but anyone who is not even a designer or a engineer can create this page and I love how they're exemplifying how to use this feature within their own product team. That's it for easels. I hope you really give it a try if you are using Arc. I also have a couple of other videos on Arc, so if you're curious about that, you can check it out from the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech and creativity videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!